Okay, so now I'm with Yalby and we're going to go and do a little planetary test run. So here we are. We found the planet at 885, which by the way loaded in extremely nicely. And I've got my uh, fireworks thing. We found it's actually pretty useful against little ships, like the warp ships, cloaking ships. It's got, it's, it's got a good role. But anyway, we're going to land this right in the population center. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. Doof. And it has a WMD mode. <laughs> WMD mode, man. I'm at double. I'm at eight eight five, about to initiate the first test. Oh boy, this city is not going to have a good day. Weapons active. Okay. Okay. I'm going to come down to ground level. Are you, you down there? Yeah. Okay. We've got to imagine that we are. Oh, yes. Nice. Keep walking around, mate, because it uh, seems to be using you as some kind of target. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Indeed. Oh boy. Yeah, it's definitely not a good day for this city. So we can just leave that on indefinitely. This test's going pretty good so far. Should we uh, take cover in this bunker? <laughs> Yeah, I think you might need to be a little deeper than that. <coughs> hey, Dalmont, are you coming to 885 to check out the uh, testing? I could be. You should definitely come to do a little inspection on the results of our test. So you warp the ship in, park it up, and turn it on. And Yelby is demonstrating uh, what would happen if you were walking around. Luckily, he is in God mode for testing purposes. Oh, just exclusive for testing purposes, I understand. Of course. Yeah, I would be cool. Absolutely. I'd love to teleport that. Bear with me. Uh, yeah, Yelby had to re-log for some reason. Um, whoa. Something to do with teleporting not working. Do you think we're going to be actually able to turn this thing off? Ah, right. So what happens if there's a core just sat there chilling? Uh, Did you just... Yeah, Wait a minute. Did you just... Damn on. <laughs> the core just flew away. Was that you? <laughs> it must have been you. What an entrance. So literally just sat this thing yep. on a planet. Yeah, and turn it on. <laughs> it files in all different directions, right? <laughs> so it's basically one big area denial weapon. Yeah. Yes. Of unspeakable horror. Warp capable. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if we can actually get up there and get this is going to be a mission to get this to turn it off. Hang on. I've got to try and scale the building. Yelby, are you with me? I've managed to spawn in a warp 5. Oh wow, it just put a big hole in the floor there. What? What's that, Dal? I've managed to spawn in a warp 5. Oh, nice. How do we get to the next floor, Yelby? No! Parkour. Parkour, parkour. Hardcore parkour indeed. The uh, destruction will inevitably enable oh. you to have a slightly better chance of reaching a higher floor. I'm, I'm just gonna make my way through that building there so I can perhaps assist you in your quest. 
<laughs> okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, right. Here Whoa, it is. I am totally under the city. Okay. Okay, so surveying yeah. the devastation from the edge. Yeah, it's actually not just for a testing prototype. It's doing really well. You could really just like set these things in random places in the middle of sectors and just anything within targeting range would be dead if you made it big enough. I'm just going to move it. To be honest, I'm still looking for a well orchestrated uh, defense platform that basically shoots out an insane amount of these missiles. Push down. There we go. It's target area number two. I just love the wobble bob because it makes it seem so non threatening. So in a, <laughs> uh, I want to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just want to punch it. <laughs> that works as well. You should just give it a little tap for testing purposes. A little, a little oh wow, just it just blasted damage. that. Yeah, just go on, give it a little punt. Just a little, little. Yeah, give it a little punt. Well, oh no, oh no, you, you, you're inside it. I don't think it gave Twitching. a. It didn't get. It didn't care, mate. It just took it. Do you know what it looks it like? Twitching. It looks like one of those big mobile armors. Oh, it does. It's leaning over. Look, it's leaning over a bit. <laughs> I think it's getting tired. But that's cool because it means the angle it fires at is different. It's a bit random. Should we just get it to? Yeah, let's get it to lean up a bit. I uh. I may have pressed tab F6. Oh right, so you may may Null pointer. Null pointer. Oh wow, Yelby, you're leaning it over again. <laughs> How are you even getting up there? I don't know. <laughs> oh um, a light went off, that means it's firing. Um yes. I need to refit the Halcyon. Yes you do. <laughs> the game can take the explosions. Okay, so let's uh, just uh, move this thing, shall we? Let's turn it off. Testing complete. Hmm, okay, so basically that is uh, not bad for a first test. All I did was park it on the roof and it did pretty good damage to the city. Definitely not bad at all. For a 10 block weapon system, it did exceedingly well. So yeah, pretty much awesome. So, oh wow, and actually, there's more damage to the terrain around the city than I had that I hadn't even noticed. Yeah, pretty much the whole planet actually felt this. Only little pock marks here and there, but still damage nonetheless. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that was awesome. Uh, thanks for joining me, Dal and Yelby. So, yeah. See you next time, guys.